In this video, we will create and run our first Java application. We created a package called org.airline.reservations, and this is where we want to put the file that we are going to write. These files are known as classes in Java, and classes are part of the object-oriented nature of Java applications. We won't be covering object orientation just yet, but in order to create a new Java file, we right-click on our package, and we say New and Class. So again, double-check that it's in the right source folder under the package we created, and then we need to give our class a name. The naming convention we use is that the class should start with a capital letter. I'm going to call this class Demo, so I'll use Demo with a capital D. And then I'd like you to click this first box here that says Public Static Void Main and then has this string and args at the end. I'm not going to explain everything about this class just yet. I just want the very basics to get this going, and this will save us a little bit of typing. So now click Finish. And here is our class file in our structure, and it shows up here in the editor. So this is the beginning of a source file. It has the package that it's contained in at the top, and every Java source file contains one and only one class. So this line tells it the name of that class. You'll notice that it matches the name of the file without the extension at the end. Then here's this line that we checked when we created the class. This is what's called a method, and a method contains the instructions that you want your Java application to perform. When we run our application, the Java runtime environment is going to look for a method called main. And so that's why I checked that box to include the line that defines the main method. We'll talk about the details of what all this means a little bit later. You'll also notice that the class begins and ends with a curly brace as well as the main method. So both of these begin and end with curly braces. The instructions that we're going to create for our Java application will be contained in between the curly braces for the main method. And for this very basic example, we are going to give it just one simple instruction, and that is just to print something out on the screen for us. So I'll press my tab key so that the instruction is aligned underneath the main method. It's not required, but it looks nice. And the command we're going to give is called system with the capital S, period, out, period, print ln. Now that's a bit of a mouthful, but essentially what it means is we are going to print a line of text, and the command to do that is contained in a Java library. A library is just a container of other Java applications that you can execute. And print line is part of a library called system in a subcategory known as out, which stands for output. That's exactly what we're doing, is we're sending some output to our screen. Now, what we are going to ask Java to print to our screen will be inside of two parens, and the text that we're going to print out is going to be inside of quotes. Now, in most programming classes, the first thing you ever print out to a screen is the text, hello world. I'm a bit of a rebel, so I'm going to deviate from that just a little bit. And my very first text string is going to say, look, Ma, I'm programming. You can really put whatever you want in here. But the idea is we are going to send this string of text to our screen. Now, at the end of every Java command that you type, you end that with a semicolon. So this is our first Java application. It's just one simple instruction. Let's save this, and now we can run it. Well, instead of running it from a terminal or a command line, we can run it right inside of Eclipse. And we do that by right-clicking on the file we just created, saying Run As, and choosing Java Application. What it will do is it will open up a console, which is the same thing as a terminal or command line, and it will put the instructions from our application down there and it's doing just what we told it to do, print out this line of text to the screen. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. The nice thing is Eclipse did a lot of work for us. 
It saved us a lot of typing up front. It compiled our file in the background when we saved it, and then it ran it in the Java runtime environment when we asked it to run as a Java application. And so now you're seeing the benefits of why we decided to use Eclipse as opposed to something like a text editor and a terminal.